Hey guys, I'm back with uh, a short one today. Uh, this is my most recent deadlift workout. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about some mental cues that I use when I'm deadlifting. Um, I really have two mental cues that I, that I look at. And you'll notice that through this video, I, I left some longer tails on there. Partly because I didn't want this to be too short, but also so that you can see the routine that I go through with my setup. Uh, I have two real mental cues that I use for the deadlift. Um, the first one is to get a big breath, and you'll see that I do the three pressure breaths. Uh, I really don't have a basis for recommending that you guys do that other than I I've heard of people trying it, and they like it, and I know for me personally that I feel like I can get tighter when I do that, uh, but that's really anecdotal and I don't have any any other sort of basis for recommending it. The important thing though is like you'll notice after those three pressure breaths I get a, a big breath in and really when I what I'm doing there is I'm taking in all the air that I can. And the second thing that you'll notice is that I really lock my lats down. Um, the thing that it, this is a, kind of a difficult thing to explain, but once you get it, it really makes a difference in being able to keep your back straight when you pull. To me, the, what I think about is kind of pulling my shoulder blades down, like you're trying to pull your shoulder blades down toward your back pockets, and that'll get you to flex your lats. And you do this, it's right after that last breath, but before I start to pull. And you'll, you'll see that you can tell that I really tighten up and I really lock my lats down. And it looks like I'm, I push my chest up a little bit, but that's really a, a product of locking the lats down. And if you do that, uh, it's a lot easier to keep your back flat through, uh, through the, whole, uh, the whole pull. So you can see here's the last breath. And you lock the lats down and get really tight before you pull. And for me, I actually like deadlifting for reps. It's a lot easier to get your volume in that way. Uh, you can see that I'm doing full stop reps, and each time I, f I find the same two major deadlift cues. I get a big breath in at the end, and I lock my lats in. So this is the last set, actually. This is the last, uh, last set, and I'll kind of talk you through what I'm doing here. First, I kind of get set and get mentally adjusted, mentally prepared for the lift, and uh, get my hands set, get my grip ex exactly how I want it. And I, I have large enough hands that I, I don't grip it in the meat of my hand. I try to leave it in the fingertips. But now you can see that I start doing the pressure breaths, uh, which you may or may not want to do. Big breath in, lock the lats in. And each rep, big breath in, lock the lats in. You do that for all, all the repetitions. So that's really it. Like I said, it's just a short one that I wanted to do today. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you can post them up in the comments section or head over to the Reactive Training Systems website. Uh, there's a forum, and I'll be happy to answer a ton more questions over there. Thanks for watching.